Welcome back to the Lockout Men Podcast Show. And in this segment of Breaking Truckers, we're going to be looking at Way to Fly. In this clip, Way to Fly says that if you get into this industry, you're going to die sick and broke. If you are a truck driver, nine times out of ten, you're going to die sick and broke. Strong statement from a strong woman. What do you guys think, man? I mean, is, is it true? Is it is it true? Is it possibly true that you that you will get sick and you will be broke when you get into this industry? I don't know. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. All right. So to Brittany Sage Zero, first of all, before I get into your comment, I love your locks. I went on your page. I always try to make sure that before I even uh, voice over a video back to a comment that I do my due diligence and do my research. But speaking for my generation, we don't want a career in anything. We want to change the social construct of success or retirement. Uh, if you are a truck driver, nine times out of ten, you're going to die sick and broke. Die sick and broke. You, do you understand? Do you? That is the statistics. That's what it is. Now, I don't disagree with you when I say that, yes, you can utilize trucking to fuel whatever you're trying to achieve, whether it's a different business, a different hustle. But nine times out of ten, what a lot of your generation don't understand is that you get indoctrinated and you get acclimated to the trucking lifestyle. What? It is very hard for you to leave this type of acclimation, meaning you're getting up, you're rocking and rolling, you're in a different place, you have a DM, you really don't have a boss per se, you have a person that's collaborative with you making money, you are in different time zones, you're wanderlust hungry, there's so many different things, it is hard to segue that into a career from this. So most people that come into trucking pretty much relatively stay here. But as far as your generation, as far as you trying to change your social construct of success and retirement, baby girl, the old saying goes like this. If it ain't broke, don't try to fix it. Get your money, live your life, enjoy trucking, because trucking has some very positive and beautiful things that it can add to your life socially and add to your life holistically. But don't back the cheese. Don't believe the hype. If you retire out of trucking, it's because you couldn't clear your medical card. Because you, you're past the six months on a medical certificate, like because you can't physically get back into the truck because you have sleep apnea. That is usually the statistics. And when I say that women are disingenuous in that, this is the reason why. Because women believe that they're going to come into a male-dominated industry and change something that men have been trying to achieve decades and hundreds of years prior to that. So that's all I have to say. I know for your generation. You guys have so much access and you have so much ahead of you and so much that you're able to utilize to move forward, but you can't do it on the backs of people that have been doing it successfully for years prior to you. Stay up, beautiful. What do you guys think? Truck drivers, drivers, let me know what you think about this. Uh, think about this clip from this young lady. Way to fly. You def She says... Only when you retire, because she said this is statistical statements, that when you retire, the only reason that you retire out of the industry is because you can't renew your medical card. Is that true, though? Is that true? I, I would like to hear from the retirees of trucking and how the lifestyle has been for you now since you retired out of trucking. And what was the reason? Why you retired out of trucking? Is it the reason that she says that you couldn't get a year card or a two-year card for, uh, for your medical certificate? Don't believe the hype. If you retire out of trucking, it's because you couldn't clear your medical card. It's because you, you're past the six months on a medical certificate. Like, because you can't physically get back into the truck because you have sleep apnea. That is you. Are you broke? If you are a truck driver, nine times out of ten, you're going to die sick and broke. That is the statistics. That's what it is. Now you know, are you broke? She says she's giving advice to this young lady by saying, don't believe the hype. And I would give the same advice, too. Like, don't believe the hype of, some what, of what some truckers say about the trucking industry. Find out for yourself. 
Okay. When you get into the industry, find out for yourself whether or not this is going to work for you or not. <clears throat> You're going to die sick and broke when you get into this industry. If you are a truck driver, nine times out of 10, you're going to die sick and broke. That is the statistics. That's what it is. Now Woo! That's going to do it for this segment of Breaking Truckers on the Lockout Men Podcast Show.